If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 video. And guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the top five cornerbacks to start the season on Madden 17. Just like always, guys, just keep in mind, these are not their ultimate team card ratings. These are just the attributes that they're going to have in your standard franchise mode, in your head-to-head -head games, things like that outside of the game. Play now, uh, outside of ultimate team, I should say. So just keep that in mind, guys. Again, we're assuming that probably their ultimate team ratings are going to kind of fall in line with this, maybe be somewhat a little bit lower than this to start the season. But, you know, for the most part, this is pretty much probably going to be your top five in both. So with that being said, guys, let's take a look at the top five cornerbacks. And we're going to start off at number five with the Jets, Darrell Revis. This is a guy, obviously, who's been a top cornerback for years and years. He's kind of built himself up a great reputation over the years. He had another nice year last year. I mean, he wasn't one of the top 10 rated cornerbacks cornerbacks, but definitely still a very, very good player, um, and, and one who, of course, we have to imagine is going to be a great player again this year. Now, one thing that I will say about his attributes, nothing really stands out to you as being amazing. Now, he's got 89 speed, 92 acceleration. 89 speed is not great. I mean, it's definitely, I, I shouldn't say it's on the slower end because we don't know what the other cornerbacks are going to be, but it does, certainly doesn't stand out to you. 92 acceleration is solid, definitely good enough. Uh, 89 agility, nah, I mean, it's good, but it's not anything spectacular. The 90 man coverage is very, very good for sure. I mean, we, we shouldn't, you know, uh, say anything negative about that. The 86 zone coverage, it's solid, you know, again, it's hard to find a cornerback who's going to have these two attributes, the man coverage and the zone coverage, both be good. Most of the time, you're going to see one or the other being good and the other one being low 80s to even, some in some cases, high 70s. So, again, Darrell Revis is kind of a, a very balanced cornerback that can play all over the place and do all kinds of different things for you. Chances are that we're not seeing all of his attributes here, uh, the ones that are going to make him great because, you know, a lot of people know Darrell Revis is a guy who can go up and play the ball very, very effectively. So we have to imagine that he's going to have good jumping attributes, probably a good press attribute. Um, I'm going to assume that he's probably got good catching, maybe even a good spectacular catch. So again, we're not seeing all of the attributes here that make him a 91 overall, but these base five attributes, these are kind of the things that most people look at when they're looking at a cornerback. And I mean, Revis is good, but he's not spectacular in any of these things. So let's move on to number four, and we're going to take a look at Patrick Peterson. Now, what's interesting here is that Patrick Peterson is higher than uh, Darrell Revis in every single one of these attributes. Kind of interesting. 93 speed, 92 acceleration. Excuse me, I, I shouldn't say that. He's the same in acceleration as Revis, but 92 acceleration, 97 agility, quite a bit higher than Revis, two higher in man coverage, and also three higher in zone coverage at an 89 and a 92, respectively. So, again, Patrick Peterson, very, very good in Madden. He has been since he came into the league, and you have to imagine that he's going to have some really fun attributes to play with as well on kick returns and things like that. He's always a guy who has uh, great moves like juke moves, and um, he, he always has great catching. I mean, the Cardinals have used him on offense from time to time throughout his career, so he's certainly a player that is very, very fun to use, and it's awesome to see him get another great set of ratings to start the season because he did have a nice year last year. Uh, just like Darrell Reed, he wasn't a top 10 cornerback, but he was still very, very good um, and, and certainly worthy of being at least in the conversation as a top five cornerback based on his history and the things that he's done. Now moving on to number three, and this is one who most people would probably consider to be, for the most part, the best cornerback in Madden. Certainly in Madden Ultimate Team, he's always up there, and that's Richard Sherman. So obviously Richard Sherman is a guy who, you know, the the height advantage that he has over a lot of the receivers gives him a big, big advantage. And not only that, but if you take a look at some of these attributes that he has, man, you look at the 94 zone coverage. I mean, that is um, an impressive attribute. It's the second best among the guys that we're going to take a look at today. Uh, he also has very, very good man coverage at an 88. The agility is great at a 96. His speed and his acceleration are a little bit disappointing. He's the slowest of the guys that we've taken a look at so far with only 89 speed and 90 acceleration. But again, 
Sherman is a guy who can go up there and swat those passes. I've I've heard this year that swatting is going to be kind of a very important thing. So I believe that his jumping ability and his ability to, uh, you know, be just, I guess not his ability, but just his height in general is going to give him a big advantage in those jump ball situations. So he could be probably, I, I would guess he's probably going to start the season as one of, if not the best guy to go up and defend those aggressive catches. So definitely a guy that you want to have on your team. And I'm sure the Seahawks, once again, are going to be, if not the most popular team, uh, one of the most popular teams to use in standard head-to-head. So definitely Richard Sherman's a cornerstone of that franchise and a guy who deserves his 92 rating overall. Moving on now to number two among the cornerbacks, and this is a guy who I am so happy to see in the top five. I was a little bit worried, I have to be honest with you, that he was not going to be rated as high as he is, and he deserves it. I mean, this guy is an absolute beast. He was arguably, he's arguably the best cornerback in the league over the past two seasons. If you take a look at just the past two seasons, he has been amazing, and that is Chris Harris Jr. of the Denver Broncos, 93 overall to start the season, 89 speed, 87 acceleration makes him the slowest guy on this list, so that's a little bit disappointing, I have to say. The 87 acceleration, man, that's just, it's not great, but the thing is here is that Chris Harris makes up for it with the fact that he has 94 man coverage and 93 zone coverage. That is crazy. He has the highest man coverage above everybody else on this list by two ratings over the next closest guy, which is Patrick Peterson. So uh, yeah, definitely impressive. And his zone coverage is still really, really good at a 93. The combination of those two things, man, I love the versatility that you get with Chris Harris. He also has a, a 96 for agility. So again, he's going to be one of the best cornerbacks to use. And if you're using the Denver Broncos, I mean, obviously, you've got such great cornerbacks on that team. You have such great pass rushers. That defense is going to be just ridiculous once again this season, you have to imagine. And maybe they're going to be able to make another run at a Super Bowl, even with their questionable quarterback situation, just because they have guys like Chris Harris Jr. So again, 93 overall for him. He is a full attribute higher, or a full overall attribute, I should say, higher than Richard Sherman, two higher than Patrick Peterson and Darrell Revis. But He is still one lower than our number one cornerback, and I think a lot of you guys saw this coming. Josh Norman, now of the Washington Redskins, formerly of the Carolina Panthers, definitely the best cornerback in this game as far as attributes go. If you take a look at these main five attributes, 90 speed, 92 acceleration, 92 agility, 92 man coverage, and a 97 for zone coverage. 97 zone coverage. That is a crazy, crazy high attribute to start the year. Awesome to see. And again, even if you put him in man coverage, he's going to be one of the best cornerbacks in that department as well. Second best on this list, tied with Patrick Peterson in that department. So very, very nice to see Josh Norman getting the credit that he deserves. He was the best cornerback in the league last year in most people's opinion. Uh, And he was, I believe, ranked number one among the pro football focus rankings as well. So there you have it, guys. That is your top five cornerbacks. I want to hear from you guys, though. Is there anyone that should have made this list who didn't? Because I can think of a couple guys. Right off the top of my head, I can think of a couple guys, and I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. Let me know who do you think should be on there and who do you think should be dropped off based on, I don't know, their overall, uh, what they've done over the course of their career or specifically what they did last season. Let me know in the comment section below which one of these guys should not be in the top five and who should be in the top five in their favor. Now, the guy that I'm a little bit interested in is Tyron Matthew specifically him of the Arizona Cardinals. Now, I know a lot of people are going to jump at me and say, well, Tyron Matthews is a safety click with. That's why he's not on there. Well, here's the thing. A lot of people don't realize this because most football fans are just, they look at the Madden player uh, position and that's what they take as the gospel. But in reality, Tyron Matthew actually played a lot of nickel cornerback last year, like more nickel cornerback than he did safety. So it'll be interesting to see how he's actually placed in this game, if he's lined up at cornerback or if they do put him at safety. Now, obviously, he's extremely versatile, so he plays on the outside. He plays in the slot as as your nickel corner. He also plays, obviously, deep as a safety. 
He can play anywhere on the field. So I want to see where Tyron Matthew is rated because to me, I believe that he was maybe the second or third best cornerback in the league last year. And he was better than Patrick Peterson, who did make this list. So if he's not listed as a cornerback and he is listed as a safety and he ends up in the top five there, fine, I've got no arguments. But if he doesn't end up as a safety and he didn't make the top five, I have a little bit of a problem with that. So you guys have to let me know. What do you guys think about that one specifically? And is there anybody else? Is there guys like, I don't know, Pac-Man Jones comes to mind for me as a guy who had a monster year last year. Darius Slay was very good. Um, I'm trying to think here who else. I mean, obviously, Dominic rogers Cromartie is a guy who arguably could be in the top five. But I got to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comment section below who should be on this list that isn't and who should be who is on this list, who shouldn't be. Let me know, guys. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will talk to you guys again soon.